The NVIDIA DGX has a lot to answer for. It single-handedly created an entirely new class of device, the AI appliance, a server with optimized frameworks packed full of GPU accelerators that for the first time was capable of training AI models fast enough for the data to be commercially viable versus the glacial training speeds of CPU-only servers. And NVIDIA recently unveiled the seventh generation DGX H100, so we thought it would be interesting to compare it with previous DGX appliances to track how much things have changed. Let's get things started with the newest DGX H100, which is named for its use of H100 GPUs based on the Hopper architecture. This marks a significant departure from earlier DGXs, which shared the same underlying GPU architecture as other contemporary NVIDIA GPUs. In contrast, Hopper is designed exclusively for AI workloads, so it's an order of magnitude faster. The DGX H100 has eight H100 GPUs, each with 80 gigabytes of RAM, two x86 CPUs, and two terabytes of system memory. During 10.2 kilowatts, the DGX H100 tips the scales at a list price of £379,000. The other NVIDIA AI appliance currently available is the mighty DGX A100. Launched in May 2020, this DGX gets its name from its eight A100 GPUs based on the Ampere architecture. Each of these GPUs is equipped with 80 gigabytes of RAM and accompanied by two AMD EPIC CPUs and two terabytes of system memory. Drawing 6.5 kilowatts, the DGX A100 has a list price of £266,000. Launched in March 2018, the DGX2 was a bit of an oddity in the NVIDIA AI appliance range as it was intended to supplement rather than supplant the DGX1. In essence, the DGX2 was a DGX1 on steroids with double the number of GPUs and a price tag to match. It was equipped with 16 V100 GPUs based on the Volta architecture, each with 32 gigabytes of RAM. This incredible GPU array was paired with two Intel Xeon CPUs and 1.5 terabytes of system memory. During 10 kilowatts, the DGX2 was a list price of £379,000. The very first AI appliance was the DGX1, which was released in its original guise in April 2016 and a later improved model in May 2017. Early DGX1s were equipped with eight P100 GPUs based on the Pascal architecture, each with 16 gigabytes of RAM. These were supported by two Intel Xeon CPUs and 512 gigabytes of system memory. Drawing 3.2 kilowatts, the DGX1 had a list price of £166,000. A little over a year later, the improved DGX1 emerged with the GPUs replaced by eight V100s based on the Volta architecture. This was a big deal at the time, as these were the first NVIDIA GPUs to feature tensor cores, which are specifically designed to accelerate deep learning calculations. And to confuse things a little further, V100 DGX1s were available with either 16 or 32 gigabytes of memory per GPU, but in all other regards had the same specs as the original P100 DGX1. The later models drew 3 kilowatts and had a slightly higher list price of £192,000. Well, unless you're Sheldon Cooper and are able to calculate AI performance in your head based on factors such as the number of GPUs, CUDA cores, tensor cores, clock frequency and memory bandwidth, the specs that NVIDIA publishes on the various DGX appliances are of limited use in quantifying how they perform versus one another. Fortunately, our resident data scientists and system architects have been able to benchmark all the DGXs to compare their performance. The team tested each DGX at three levels of floating points, FP16 half precision, FP32 full precision and FP64 double precision. The reason for doing this is to allow you to identify which DGX is best at each level. For example, whilst the majority of AI models use FP32 or FP16, we are aware aware of a small number of customers who use the more precise FP64 format. We've deliberately excluded FP8 quarter precision from this comparison as the only GPU capable of running this level are the Hopper GPUs in the DGX H100 and suffice to say this gives the latest DGX a massive edge over its predecessors. This graph shows the performance speedup delivered by the various generations of DGX appliance versus the original DGX1 with P100 GPUs at FP16 half precision. 
What's immediately obvious is the huge acceleration provided by the Tensor Cores as first introduced in the DGX1 with V100 GPUs. NVIDIA hasn't sat on its laurels though, each and every subsequent DGX appliance has provided significantly more performance than the one before it, with the latest DGX H100 proving an astonishing 46.6 times faster than the original DGX1, a staggering improvement over six years. And you're not seeing double, this FP32 full precision graph isn't just a repeat of the previous graph that showed FP16 half precision. And this is because we're not showing the absolute teraflops, but the relative performance gains, which for FP32 and FP16 just so happen to be the same. However you look at it, the speed up gen on gen should not be underestimated. There are very few areas in tech that see these sorts of performance gains in such a short time period. Whilst not many data scientists use FP64 for deep learning, it is commonly used in HPC workloads. What's immediately apparent is the gains to be had at FP64 are much smaller than at the lower levels of precision frequently used in deep learning, with a 6.4 times speed up from the DGX1 to the DGX H100. An interesting oddity of this data is that it reveals that despite its age, the DGX2 is faster than the later DGX A100 at FP64, the only level of precision at which this is true. We also thought it would be interesting to compare the power efficiency of each DGX appliance, so we've graphed the performance at three levels of mathematical precision versus the power consumption. Despite its 10.2 kilowatt power rating, the DGX H100 is the clear winner here, delivering far more performance per watt than the others, close to 15 times the original DGX1. Finally, we've graphed the relative value for money of each DGX appliance. As you can see at the time, the DGX1 with V100 GPUs was between five and six times better value than the original version with P100 GPUs. And since then, things have only got better, with the latest DGX H100 providing more bang per buck despite its higher unit cost. We've been wanting to compare the relative speed, power efficiency and value for money of the various DGX appliances for some time. And now that the full data for the DGX H100 is available, this is now possible. Whilst the pre-2020 DGXs aren't available to buy anymore, the data is important for existing customers as it allows you to see what gains are available when you upgrade to a new DGX. The data is also interesting because it reveals several distinct trends. Firstly, the FP64 performance hasn't increased nearly as fast as the more commonly used FP32 and FP16 standards until recently. The exception to this is the new DGX H100, which has a renewed focus on highly precise calculations and is an incredible 327% faster than the DGX1 with V100 GPUs. What's more, the data also shows that despite their higher unit cost and power consumption, the two current DGXs, the H100 and A100, are up to 14 times more energy efficient and 47 times better value for money than their predecessors. Leave a comment below letting us know what you think of the data and what it reveals about the different DGX appliances and take a look at our other AI-related content on the channel. Scan AI is a complete end-to-end -end AI solution provider, including hardware, software, and training. So do get in touch and let us know how we can accelerate your AI journey.